What's up, you two? Super unlucky here. And today's video will be your demise. And then I want to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Alright, you guys, today is Shadow of Infinity box, mini box opening, and first edition pack opening. Overall, half a box, 12 booster packs for you guys. It's going to be very exciting. Hopefully, we can pull Demise the King of Armageddon or the Oblivion Queen. That would be pretty freaking epic. And uh, I believe something about Kaiba might be coming coming here pretty quick, so be ready for that as well. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Our first Shadow of Infinity mini box here from the special edition. I haven't opened this in a very long time. I'm actually very excited for this. This is straight from a crispy new Shadow of Infinity specialism, special edition box. Let's do it. Heart of the Cards, guide us. Also, in Shadow of Infinity, we have, if we can pull an ultimate rare, that'd be very nice, but we have the um, sacred, the demon gods, the sacred beasts, so that'd be pretty cool if we can pull those as well. And a rear Ryoku, as a limited edition SOI card. Have I never opened up Shadow of Infinity Special Edition? I don't think I've ever seen this before. A Ryoku? What? That is sweet. SOI Ryoku. I had no idea that was in here. What? That's crazy. Okay, three packs. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever opened that up before. Can we get a ultimate rare? I feel like we'll definitely get a foil, but can we get an ultimate rare? And first, I think these are 2004, 2005 packs. Ah, the nostalgic Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes. Here we go. Can we get a foil? Generation Shift. Chain Thrasher. Samsara. Kokipan. And nice, a Cyber Barrier Dragon first pack. We're getting a super rare card. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Cyber Barrier. This uh, card cannot be normal sort of set. This card cannot be special summon except with attack reflector unit. Once per turn, negate an attack position um, of your first... Oh, sorry. If it's an attack position, negate your opponent's first attack. There we go. Look, I know what that does. Next to be lost, Neo Bubble Man, Ancient Gear Factory, and Grass Phantom. All right, you guys. Next pack from these beautiful Shadow Infinity packs straight from the special edition. Here we go. Oh, Shien before he became the great Shogun Shien. Gokipan. End of the world. I love this card. Definitely one of my favorite, I guess you could say, art styles or themes from any Yu-Gi-Oh! series or any Yu-Gi-Oh! archetype. Absolutely love it. Machine King prototype. Treeborn Frog is in here, yes. Definitely one of the favorite rares from this set, used for a very long time. Select two random fusion monsters from your opponent's fusion deck and send them to the grave. Probability zero. And our last pack here. Got two foils over there. What is next? Here we go. Dun 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 dun. End of the world again. That's a good sign. Shien. Machine King, Super Junior Confrontation, Memory Crush, Crusher. Very nice. There's the Attack Reflector Unit, Ancient Gear Cannon, Hero Heart, nice. and Ant Eater Eating Ant. That card was actually played for a cool minute. It's a normal summoner set. This card cannot be special summoned except by setting two spell or trap cards on your side of the field to the grave. And this card can destroy one spell or trap card your opponent controls but it cannot attack the turn you activate effect. Sadly, it can't attack. But still, it works well uh, at the time where people doing it with uh, Crystal Beast, stuff like that. Very fun. All right, you guys, now our next Shadow of Infinity mini box. And then we have six first edition Shadow of Infinity booster packs. First edition, baby. We could get ultimate rare foils. Maybe even a demise. King of Armageddon. 
napkin. I don't think I've ever opened up this special edition, you guys. Another Ririoku. I have never seen these Ririokus before. What in the world? That is crazy. Okay. So, another secret rare. That's like a very beautiful limited edition card from a special edition as well. I really like how they did that. And then three more packs. Here we go. All right. The demise is coming. Generation Shift. Sand Moth, symbol of heritage, ancient gear. Option Hunter. What are those things? Huh. Ancient Gear Cannon, Grass Phantom, Hero Heart, and the Hero Kid to go with Hero Heart. Elemental Hero in its name. You can attack twice. Special summon any number of Hero Kids from your deck when this card is special summoned. Interesting. Should've just made it special summon another Hero Kid. From your hand or deck. Bezel, Frog, Saber, Beetle, Full Salvo, Magnetic Level 2, a Doom Dozer. Nice, very powerful insect card, for sure. Special Summon by Remove to Play 2 Insects. 2800 Beat Stick. So some Earth Beat down with some insects. Ant Eater Eating Ants as well. And then the last pack, can we get at least a foil card out of six packs? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, end of the world. We're calling upon the oblivion, the demise. Samsara Chain Thrasher. What? Another Cyber Barrier Dragon? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. 2-4 Super Rare Cyber Barrier Dragon. Photon Generator Unit. Malice Ascendant and the Attack Reflector Unit for our second Cyber Barrier Dragon. Absolutely crazy, you guys. It's time for Kaiba News. And today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the new cards coming out in Cybernetic Horizon. We have Demise and Ruin, the classic archetype from Shadow of Infinity and they're both coming out with new forms being supported in this new set. And so first we have Demise, the Fiend of Armageddon, the level four version of the King that can be summoned with a new ritual spell card. He can destroy one face of monster and guarantee the activation of your ritual monster's effects when destroyed. And then we have Ruin, Angel of Oblivion, the level four version of the Queen. She can be summoned also by using the new spell card and has effect of attacking twice on the turn she's summoned. And then when she's destroyed, she can also protect your ritual monsters when they attack. The Demise cards are focused on destruction, while the Ruin cards are more focused on battling. And next we have the level 10 versions of Demise and Ruin. Demise Supreme King Armageddon, making your ritual monsters immune to battle destruction while having a better effect than the original Demise. He can destroy cards on the field without requiring you to pay life points. And he can deal 200 points of damage for every card destroyed. Glorious! Next we have Ruin, Graceful Queen of Oblivion. Makes your ritual monsters immune to effect destruction. And she can make two attacks during each battle phase. And then she just deals the at original attack of the monster she destroys to your opponent's life points. Absolutely insane. Three new spell cards coming out as well with a new trap. The first one is Endless World, a ritual spell card that allows you to recycle demise and ruin monsters from your graveyard and search your deck for End of the World. And Reverse World, a quick, way, a quick play spell that lets you summon your powerful ritual monsters. Break World, it gives you a way to manipulate the level of ritual monsters in your hand while giving you the draw power you need. And finally we have Return World, a trap card that lets you get your ritual cards back to your hand while acting as a secondary ritual spell. These cards look absolutely incredible, and honestly, Demise cards were one of my favorite archetypes because of the amazing art style these cards have. But, does that make them as good as the new DANGER cards coming out in Cybernetic Horizon? Let us know what you guys think in the comments below, and join me in my demise when Cybernetic Horizon le releases later this month. This was Kaiba News. Now that you guys have met your demise, let's continue with this opening. 
Here we go. First edition Shadow of Infinity booster packs. Three booster packs. Or sorry, six booster packs. Here we go. And we will have to take a whiff since uh, this, is, this is the beginning of the end. Ah, Shadow of Infinity. Here we go. First edition. DD Guide. The prototype. Doom Dozer as the third card. That is extremely unexpected, but we'll take it. Ancient Gear Cannon. Ant Eating Eating Ant. Success probability zero. End of the world first edition, baby. And Sheehan. Very nice. Beautiful. All right. Next pack is... I know these are loose packs, but it's like still... See a rare right at the third pack. It's a little funky. Come on, you guys. One foil at least from these loose packs. Super Junior Confrontation. Ancient Gear Drill. Dale's old Frog. Saber Beetle. What? Are you serious? Another Cyber Barrier Dragon. What is the odds of pulling three Cyber Barrier Dragons from 12 packs? Six of them being loose packs. Six being from special editions. Holy freaking crap, man. We can make a cyber end barrier dragon. <laughs> that would, we would definitely meet our demise. If we, I mean, one of those. Wow. Parasitic Tiki. All right. Well, we still have four packs left. Can we get maybe, just maybe, an ultimate rare? And another foil card. Sheehan, Ancient Gear, Generation Ship, Saber Beetle, Option Hunter, two Doom Dozers, two Option Hunters. Seems like a very small set when you look at the board here. Jeez. Ant Eater Eating Ant. Success! Probability Zero and the DD Guy. Three more packs. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. There it goes. All right. Full Salvo. The Frog. Chain Thrasher. She ends back. Proto Cyber Dragon is a first edition card straight from the pack. That's nice. The Tiki. Photon and the Frog. Two more packs. You know who's also in here? The Demon Kings. The Demon Gods. Come on, baby. One more foil. Saber Beetle. Magnetic Circle. Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. Oh, the Covered Core Super Rare. <laughs> I like how, of all the foils we could be getting, we're getting like these machine cards. I mean, at least we are getting foils, because I guess this is loose packs at this point. But the Covered Core... Starships and Machine Dragons. Elemental Neo Bubble Man. Success probability zero of pulling a foil in this last pack. I don't think so. Give it to us. Kaiba! Here we go. Last pack of Destiny. Feel the power. Generation shipped. Sand Moth. Symbols. Ancient Gear. A treeborn frog. Dude. Two treeborns, two option hunters, two doom dozers, and a photo cyber dragon miracle kids, the tricky the ascendant, and photon generator unit. <laughs> this is a crazy opening. We've definitely met our demise. Wow. Alright, you guys, so a little recap here. We got two treeborn frogs, two doom dozers, two option hunters. A Photo, Proto, a Memory Crusher, three Cyber Barrier Dragons, because that's how that works. One of them being first edition, two straight from the special edition, and a BES covered core. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me meet my demise in this video. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply, Unlucky, signing out.